welcome back to ish this is ish part three yeah ish part three piece of shit budget built uh six o's in six o three seventeen uh four oh sixty supplied by bk auto wrecking and uh paramount off of uh garfield and rosecrans he supplies the engine and trans and harness and cpu because this remember this one had a 98 harness and we don't need that 98 harness because it's hard to tune so we got rid of that he supplied the harness cpu engine transmission it's a 317.60 but we swapped out the cam the cam was supplied by uh michigan motorsports it's a it's a sloppy mechanic stage two uh, they supply the valve springs, their packs, uh, Michigan Motorsport uh, push rods, uh, comp cam uh, a training kit. The training kit was separate. It's not with the kit. Uh, what else? A uh, billet cam gear that was supplied by Michigan. Uh, the the sprocket, new timing chain, ARP bolt for the cam. All new gaskets, new seals, except the heads. I didn't take off the heads because I was not going to take the heads off of that. So it has a... The engine looked like it was freshly rebuilt or freshly uh, re-gasket. So the only thing missing is missing is the uh, fucking knock sensors. Brand new knock sensors with the new harness. Uh, Raul still... Uh, Raul came, barely came today to pick up the uh, harness for it. He's gonna redo it to my specs. Uh, what else is in there? That's about it. Everything under it is already uh, the engine and trans is already torqued down. Drive shaft in there. Torque arm is mounted. Uh, what else? What else? What else? The whole front accessories is already on. I had to drill the hole for the alternator. Uh. I didn't film none of it because it's uh the, the car is already behind schedule that one week vacation does did it did put me back i tried i thought i was ahead of schedule but no uh max colors the owner of the fucking six uh the 69 colors uh his car is a one week away so i thought i had like at least two to three weeks but no it's one week away Flacco suspension still not here for his uh, Aero Coupe uh, or the T Top MC. He has he has either Aero Coupe MC and he has a a T Top MC. Uh, he still don't know which one he's gonna do, but he has a frame that's already been powder coated. We still waiting on the suspension. The brakes are here from Willwood, uh, but we waiting on all the suspension so we can bring either whatever car he's gonna do frame off. I'm telling him uh, whatever he wants to do, it doesn't matter to me. I do either or. Both of them was already swapped with T56s. I think one is a LS3 and I think the other one's a 60 or 53. Can you remember? So we waiting on that. Right now, I'm gonna finish doing the brake system. Not this whole system, but the, the brake system is already done. The brake kit. So I gotta do the master and master all the lines, put them where they go. Uh, and that's about it. We cannot start on the fuel system just yet because the tank is over there. The tank is uh, waiting on a new pump and new sender. Uh, right here, we just waiting on the Dakota to do the oil pressure sender, and that's that'll be it. Other than that, the old AC stuff will go back in there until he's ready to do the AC stuff. Cause we still gotta buy the bracket compressor, uh, all new lines, new uh, condenser, evaporator, and all that shit that goes with it. So for right now, all the old stuff will go in there. Just so it can, you know, be in there. But probably I put the box without nothing inside of it, but just a box installed. And get a more brand new condenser. Instead of installing the new the old one, I just probably put the new one because the, the the transmission uh cooler goes onto it. That's why I got the this uh 
whoever did it already has a Hawks uh, fucking uh, air scoops. You can see them. These are Hawks. So the, the, the AC has to be, not the AC, but the trans cooler has to be right here, right in the center. Condenser goes here. And I gotta see if there's room for the fucking um, the transmission cooler. If not, I'm gonna have to trim this one, I believe. Cause I always put it to the one side of it, of this shit. And then you got your radiator oh. here. I'm still waiting on the coolant bottle, the wiper washer bottle. He doesn't have wipers, so we still just gonna put the bottle in there. The thing is, we did have, get a little bit of orange peel, and we're gonna try to hide it with the bottles. The bottle goes here, we're gonna try to hide them. Uh, remember, this is a budget build, and I use whatever I had paint left over from other cars, like I bunched. I put a lot of paint in just just to make this happen for him. Uh, he's fine with it. He's uh, he's cool. He doesn't really care. Uh, the car are gonna get a full color change. He says he's going red with a black engine bay. I told him we should have just painted it red, but he said he wanted a black bay with a red car. I said it's up to you. Uh, other than that, the t intake is not torqued down. We're still waiting on the uh, knock sensors with the with the harness. Uh, that engine, the knock sensors was trash, and this engine, the knock sensors were trash. They broke when we tried to. You can see. Oh, let me turn on the light. You can see they broke. So uh, we can't use that. Same shit happened to this one. They broke when I took off the harness. The thing that I have to take off the harness to mount the the lift plate. If not, it will crush the heart. It will uh, crush the harness, and uh, it would uh, it will uh, crush the wire, and it, it will take the insulation off the wire, and then you have an electrical short if you don't do that shit correctly. So you have to take off the harness to put the plate on it, uh, and. This shit, the knock sensor was bad, and that the knock sensor was bad. And the shit is, they sell nothing but bad shit. Piece of shit, knock sensors on Amazon, eBay, anywhere. Have to get them from the dealer. And if you get them from the dealer, those motherfuckers are expensive. So I'm gonna get them. Uh, uh, but what you do is you go on Amazon and search the reviews. Don't go by the price, go by the reviews. If everybody's saying those motherfuckers work, hey, those motherfuckers work. You might get a bad batch, but hey, you get, you pay for what you pay. You get what you pay for. All right, so let me continue. Let me do the brake system. There was just an update on each piece of shit. This one is not getting a lot of filming of what we doing, cause motherfucker doesn't have time. And uh, Max shit back. That one uh, is in for a pulley chain, the balancer. He said it's, uh, it's wobbling on him or it's backing out, some shit like that. Uh, the power steering pump was given out last time it was here on that shit. So we're gonna replace that. Alternator stopped charging the battery and took the and the battery took a shit. So we're gonna replace that. So you can say the whole front accessory is gonna be replaced. And starter took a shit today. We was trying to move it. So we can start repairing it, but starter took a shit. So we're gonna repair that. So you can say pulley, uh, crankshaft pulley, alternator, power steering, starter, and rewire the shit for the battery. On um, max shit, it goes alternator to like a uh, power distribution here to the battery. So we're gonna we're gonna skip that and we're gonna go from alternator battery battery back to that little sh power distribution shit and put a brand new ground on it and see if it helps the the charging part other than that that should be it for max i'm not gonna film it because he has to leave it's in and out same shit for this it's in and out what i'm gonna film for you guys step by step was it's gonna be max that's the owner max of the 69 uh, build 
because it's a full frame off and I'm gonna film for you the fucking MC full frame off film this one is just getting updates of what's uh what's going on and what's what's happening like that I don't leave y'all guys stranded if y'all being if y'all in my Instagram y'all get to see most of all the shit that's going on back here back back uh in the what's you call that uh behind the scenes shit right now I'm just, just doing the updates so y'all can you know the ones that don't follow the Instagram or don't have Instagram so y'all can see what we doing and what we uh taking care of right now the fucking fat ass boys over there emptying out the oil container so we can go recycle all the oil but they made a mess that's why they got the degreaser on the floor and right next to the fucking entrance of the house so they can bring take the oil back inside the house right guys yeah. yep. motherfuckers motherfuckers so i got a couple increase in, increase on the fucking trans and the engine uh it still don't know what he's gonna do with him so if you ask uh it's still not uh doesn't know what he's gonna do with those shits so we still yeah you know, timmy timmy took a shit right there she fell now she's crying like uh so if you ask still don't know uh fuck it uh it should still not don't know what they're going what he's gonna do to it because uh his brother-in-law his brother wants to buy a car so i guess he's gonna rebuild that for that car so he still don't know what he's gonna do with that so if you ask he don't know oh we still waiting on these sensors these are fucking china sensors this car actually came in because of these sensors oh and he think he blew the fucking uh the rear end on it but the fucking he blew is with the transmission and the sensor were bad he had a bad idol the motherfucker didn't want to start so yeah this car came actually for that sensors and look what happened a full fucking you can say a f not a full build because we didn't take the suspension off we just swapped all the shocks and brake system and uh you can say the new used motor and trans but a bigger motor it's a six oh compared to the five seven uh but this is a low compression that's a 317 so it should be a lq4 compared to that high output five seven i think it's actually like a 345 horsepower compared to like a 350 horsepower i believe don't quote me on that uh it's the old numbers but it has a cam now so what like a three i want to say like a three and let's say if it's a 350 horse like a 370 horse engine not bad over what he had but the iron has a iron has more flexibility like you can put some through 243 heads shit like that change the current to the piston to a flat piston a lot of shit you know so we're gonna end this video here i'm gonna finish the brakes off camera so by the time you you see it again we will have like more updates part of the wire harness or the headers here uh part of the dakota gets here by daughter on dakota might not make it uh probably i'll see at least something when we bring it back all right so that be it for this video I was trying to stick you around for 10 minutes. If y'all wanna know about the YouTube game, I can teach you guys. It's not about the views, it's about the watch hours. If y'all think about all these fucking views, motherfuckers getting all these views, it's not, it's not about that. It's about the watch hours. It's how long you get the motherfucker to stay to watch your videos. That's how you get paid. It's not how many motherfuckers see your video. Motherfucker just can click on it and click back out. It gives you one view, but it doesn't give you it doesn't get you paid. Cause the motherfuckers didn't sit down and watched it. Remember, it's how long the motherfucker will sit back and watch your videos. It's not how many was is, is watching your videos. So I would if y'all wanna know about that, just let me know. I like I get a lot of inquiries on the fucking uh on uh on IG. Uh, what they want to see and what they want shit like that if y'all don't want to message message me or here on on youtube because if you message me on youtube it gets a i 
won't get to you for a wow, a wow, wow, wow. Because every time I upload, it's when I read the comments. I upload, read the comments. All right, see you on the next one.